Okay, my beautiful Taurus, and welcome. And my name is Ingrid. I'll be doing the reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And welcome anyone who has not uh, viewed my readings before. And let's dive right in. And thank you so much, all of you, um, my Taurus uh, viewers, because I so loved your comments, and I read them all. And thank you so much for sharing. These have been deep comments. And um, I'm just saying that uh, we're all in this interconnected field together, and we're growing and learning um, to uh, build our highest and best life. And this is for you, Taurus. Lead your metamorphosis where you're transforming uh, from a caterpillar into a butterfly. And you might not even know it because the DNA of a caterpillar is nothing. Um, it has nothing uh, to do with the butterfly. So there is this radical change you're going through. You might not even recognize how you look. Uh, you could be um, just transforming in a beautiful way, maybe getting a lot more exercise, taking up a sport, or uh, doing yoga, and then suddenly your body and your whole uh, countenance and radiance is chi uh, shining um, through this metamorphic uh, process of transforming, whatever that is. And I see, uh, I saw the death card and the five of cups of disappointment and you're leaving all of that behind because <clears throat> you've got strength and courage. You're calibrating that internal um, energy of self-understanding and love and that's what's um, enabling you to make this transformation. Um, and there is a lot of uh, happiness coming. The seven of, of the ten of cups, that's bliss. A happy family, relationships, friends. Uh, celebrations uh, that endure, that last. Um, and you're the page of wands stepping out um, with this fiery energy of confidence, of a, a new, uh, you're changing. You want to transform out with the old, in with the new. Uh, you want to stretch and get out of your comfort zone, explore, take up, like I was saying, new sports or new uh, hobbies, a new, um, uh, physical activity, spiritual practices, but something that you want to study and explore. And um, the tower is a coming to challenge this. Well, there could be a, some reality check, some enlightenment uh, with this metamorphosis, that some big change is coming about whatever this uh, project you put out there. And the tower is, uh, it doesn't have to be a frightening uh, catastrophic card. It could just say you're being um, illuminated. Whatever the crown that you thought was what you were going to wear, the ego um, uh, aggrandizement that you build, you're, it's crashing down out of necessity. And the lightning is the way the spirits uh, um, communicate this uh, change, some radical change that is coming in because of what you're exploring, what you're taking out there. Um, but uh, this, out of this um, <clears throat> rubble, out of this collapse uh, of this structure, you've, your life structure is radically changing. Um, and that is what metamorphosis is. This is a metamorphosis. Uh, and um, it's changing because uh, it's going to be a blessing in disguise, divine necessity. And at the foundation is the queen of pentacles. There's a lot of wealth, uh, nourishment, uh, nourishing wealth, nourishing money, nourishing your body, uh, self-care, uh, generosity, financial abundance, um, knowing how to receive wealth and uh, receive that abundance. And that is at the root of this. It could, uh, this is a card of Taurus um, as well. Uh, Taurus, a Capricorn, Virgo. So there's something connected to this nurturing um, financial abundance uh, that is leading to a challenge, a crashing down, a restructuring of whatever this new idea you're studying, you're learning, you're exploring, you're changing. Uh, because in the recent past, you um, have had to use that infinity sign, the limiscape from mathematics, which is infinite, infinity. Um, it's saying there's infinity. There's infinite 
a change in adaptation and balancing of your money in the recent past. Uh, you were dealing with the ups and downs of life and trying to wear that hat, that red hat of passion and tap into uh, how to do this, how to manage, how to use my spiritual energy and my uh, physical uh, wealth and money and my nurturing capacities to uh, bring uh, financial wealth and structure to my life. And what's coming um, right now from the higher powers to see is uh, that this is all leading at the crown to a wealth, abundance, a legacy. Um, you might be tapping in with the tower to uh, some new way of understanding your family tradition, your family wealth, your family legacy. Or, um, and if that's not your situation, this tower that is challenging um, your opportunities to go out there, to jump out of this uh, <clears throat> uh, structure that is not serving you. It's like 9-11, a wake-up call. But you're going to have a lot of abundance and wealth because you're working on that. You're nurturing that. And it's going to bring you a happy family, a happy home, um, uh, something that lasts, that endures. Uh, and it's enduring because of this page of a pentacles, a new love opportunity or a new opportunity to bring something down and make it real. And you've got a lot of the pentacles here, which is the a Taurus a, a energy, earthy energy. And that's beautiful to see because uh, this new idea, you're wanting to learn and grow this young idea, young energy. Um, if there has been or are these uh, little setbacks, uh, these challenges, things that are upsetting, that take it down, uh, don't worry because you're getting these opportunities all around you to keep growing, to keep managing your money, to keep working toward this career um, opportunity, to make something really uh, real, um, and to take this opportunity and grow it because it's going to be an opportunity of a partnership, of a love that's going to be very um, important to you. And this person could be very different from you, a very um, unusual to you, or you could be very different to them. But it's going to join together and it's going to actually uh, create a healing. That is what this relationship is going to heal this tower. And what's coming from the environment for my Taurus right now is uh, the King of Pentacles. Wow. Well, that's, uh, you got the Queen and the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Out of this uh, situation, it seems to me, a uh, Taurus, <clears throat> that there's someone uh, coming from your environment, uh, this ma a masculine energy, a man, uh, but if you're a man or a woman, but in, genders are fluid, but it's uh, the masculine uh, side of the pentacles. It's the breadwinner. It's the boss. It's the businessman. It's the uh, owner. of the. Pro uh, it's the property um, manager. It's the uh, one who is investing. Um, and it's, there's a lot of abundance, a hardworking financial energy. Is coming to you and it's bringing you love because of you're putting something out there. You're going for something. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're going to get information. Um, you're going to spy maybe on this King of Pentacles. You're going to uh, get, maybe you're gossiping with other people about whatever this is, but you want to know about it. And you've got um, three of the pages the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So, there's a lot of young energy. It could be you're um, very young at these energies right now, Taurus, and you're taking them out and you're using your intelligence. And what is coming as your advice is uh, the Six of Pentacles. Well, a gift of wealth is coming. And there's so many cards of wealth and, and this love opportunity is going to bring you um, a balanced a relationship, this reciprocity, equal give and take. Um, that's a lot of wealth and a legacy that's going to last. Um, this coming to you from a family inheritance and another gift. But it's going to bring you, you've been thinking a lot about this love, this partnership. 
And even if something is um, having to crash down because of divine necessity, it's only because it needs to. So it's moving you uh, toward uh, this new opportunity. And it's, um, you've got so many of the pentacles. So it's saying there's so much abundance uh, coming toward us. And you're going to work at this and grow this well. And it's going to grow this love, uh, this uh, love bringing together those masculine and feminine qualities in yourself so you do uh, attract uh, this um, partnership that's going to bring balance, um, economic balance, but mental clarity. You're getting some information. You're getting information about your passion and energy, about your opportunities um, and career offers, and also about how you're thinking through things more um, intelligently now and getting information, getting all the facts, so you can uh, find this balanced uh, situation. And uh, that's what I see coming, and it's leading you to this metamorphosis, uh, this change, and it's coming for my Taurus, and I hope this uh, resonates. Um, and if it does for each one of you Tauruses, I'd love to hear how, and thank you so much uh, for subscribing to my channel, and if you haven't, it's no uh, problem. Just do it right this second and give me a thumbs up. And you know I love you, Taurus. And see you next time. Bye-bye.